life or death decision millions of people are forced to make every single day. Spend thousands of dollars on their medication or go without treatment in favor of rent and groceries. The cost of prescription drugs has gotten so high in this country that some people are buying their medications for a lot less overseas or from Canada. Tonight, investigator Bill Spencer is going in-depth, revealing the growing effort to reduce drug prices. And he has 10 different ways you can save right now on your prescriptions. At 62 years old, Belinda Smith is about to do one of the most expensive things she does all week, take her diabetes medicine. This is my Humalog. It is a quick pen, and I use this about five or six times a day. Humalog is one of the most widely used prescription drugs in the world, and if Belinda were to stop taking it... I would die. <laughs> Just that simple, I would die. But like so many absolutely vital prescription drugs in this country, Humalog is expensive. Nobody should have to pay that much money. It's ridiculous when you can buy it for a fraction of the cost. So several years ago, after losing her job and her health insurance and no longer able to pay the 350 bucks a month she was paying for Humalog, Belinda decided to go outside the United States. I found a pharmacy in Canada that offered it to me for $80 a vial. That's like a fourth of what I was paying. Was there any difference at all in what you felt when you took the drug from Canada as opposed to the drug from the United States? No, not at all. The fact is, here in the United States, we are paying more than almost anyone else for prescription drugs. For example, take a look at one of the most commonly prescribed drugs, the cholesterol-lowering medication Crestor. In America, we pay $86.50 for a monthly dose. In Germany, the very same drug is 40 bucks. Canadians pay just 32.10, and the lowest price is in Australia, where people pay just eight bucks. That's less than one tenth the price we pay for the very same drug. Why are we paying so much more? In most other developed countries, the government approaches drug companies and negotiates prices for all of their citizens. And so because they are such a large buyer, they're able to negotiate a much lower price. But that's certainly not what's happening here. In the U.S., health insurers negotiate with the big pharma companies. In America, pharmaceutical manufacturers are granted government-approved monopolies, and then nothing is done about their price gouging. Texas Congressman Lloyd Doggett from San Antonio wants to change all that. He leads the task force on prescription drug prices and recently sponsored what's called the Affordable and Safe Prescription Drug Importation Act. It is one of the ways that we might force a little bit of competition to try to reduce these monopoly prices. As for Belinda, she wants the Trump administration and Congress to battle hard against big pharmaceutical companies to drastically cut the prices of prescription drugs. What do you think of the prices that the big pharma companies are charging all of us for prescription drugs in this country? They are way too high. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous some of the prices. I am horrified. Now, Congressman Doggett tells us, yes, as it is right now, buying prescription drugs from other countries is technically illegal. Still, he says more and more Americans are doing it, and he understands why. Doggett's Prescription Drug Task Force has several pending pieces of legislation right now aimed at slashing the prices we currently pay for drugs in this country, but none of them have been passed at this point. The point is, you need help right now, and we've got it for you. We've never done this before, but we've put 10 different websites where you can go to to drastically cut what you pay for your prescription drugs. Just go to our website, click to Houston.com, and click on the consumer section. Bill, you mentioned that other countries negotiate with drug companies. Any chance of that happening here? Yes, uh, Doggett's group is pushing for that right now. In fact, they've got pending legislation. It is House Bill 4138. It is called the Medicare Drug Price Negotiation Act. And yes, it would have the government buy in bulk from the major drug companies, so it would lower the price for all of us, just like they do in all of these other countries. Yeah. Why we're not doing it, I don't know. So many people risk their safety driving to Mexico to buy their prescription drugs. That's, That's right. I talked to one man that is willing to go to India to buy the drug he needs because he can get it for like one-eighth of what he pays here. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah, it's right, nuts. Well,